Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Career Point for You. In this video, we are going to talk about Infosys interview round. How can you clear by using which kind of resources you can use to study so you can clear interview round in one shot or in one go or you are in your first attempt okay so before starting this video if you are new to this channel so so if you are new to this channel so do subscribe and also press the bell icon whenever i upload a new video so you can get notified by the bell icon so if you have any kind of a doubt by for any company related any kind of company so i have a, like many playlists consisting like companies like Cognis and wipro joho accenture tcs even i have as infosys playlist which consists around 81 videos if you, you have any kind of query related to infosys so you one in my suggestion just go one this playlist so you can clear your all doubts so if you have still have any kind of doubts so do join my social media media handle because in this video description box i already mentioned my two telegram channel one which consists the job updates and another is your official career point for you channel and another social media handle is instagram so you can join and ask me any query you have okay so let's start and discussing all the stuff one by one clarification like if i already really cleared my interview round by using that notes so you can see i already uploaded in my community section my offer letter screenshot where you can see dear mahavir congratulations and there are many stuff so you can read by yourself so you can see i uploaded this one month ago so this is video very genuine and i use that notes and clear my interview runs so you can also clear by going through that pdf so let's start and dis start discussing that pdf one by one uh, this is the pdf even i can attach in my description box so you can download and prepare by this pdf if you want so my writing writing is not that good so you can see the question on rdms and dbms so the some of the normal question like dadl like dml dcl and what is truncate delete what is sql and m sql difference so these kind of questions you they can ask from database okay then move to next if you have like mentioned html so they can may maybe not the like sure short they can ask from html question if only you mention in resume then they ask okay then in forces previous year ask question so here are some technical which i mentioned difference between c and c plus plus difference between python c and c plus plus then oops concept and null pointer and sdlc and here are H hr questions okay then so, then move to fourth page so here I mentioned and I wrote like def, okay, what, what I can say the definition of SDLC the model okay the model in most use model okay then difference between C and C++ then C++ and Java then oops as you can see I also marked there asked this oops also asked in my own interview that's why I mentioned here asked even in a previous page you can see I marked asked on SDLC so you can see my notes are very useful for me I don't know if this is going to helpful for you or not and one more question also prepare about Infosys what about like when Infosys founded the CEO, CEO and the current CEO, CEO and the headquarters and the some of the like which current which of the topics or the technology currently Infosys is working on so these kind of stuff they can ask not really but maybe okay then what this is what about Vika so this is why I wrote because I mentioned that thing in my resume so, and, and this is also I mentioned in my resume VS code so that's why I wrote here okay and some pseudo code so if you are lucky like me then they don't ask question from like then don't then they don't ask question of coding in my interview they don't ask any coding question they are only ask theoretical question like sdlc oops i'm going to discuss in next part of video so as you can see i already like 
stated here like what kind of so coding question they can going to maybe they ask like swapping of two numbers even or odd reverse thing then perfect or not prime number then palindrome then fibonacci then count of number of alphabet in a string so uh, even i solve or write the code of like here you can see the find the armstrong number the count the alphabet in a string then followed by even or odd prime number then fibonacci series okay so i mention all the stuff one by one so this is my interview question was they what they actually asked in my interview which is held on 9th of february february okay as you can see first question he asked show your id card then introduce yourself so if you try to introduce yourself just make it in a two or three minute, minutes not more than two or three minutes okay because maybe interviewer get bored by your question of your answer so he may may reject you because in this like in forces they conduct like tier and hr combine and most out of time they focus on your communication skill how your communication skill and most of them how you presenting the answer if he ask for sdlc so what how you going to answer first you try to like try to say the full form then what kind of process like phases phases then the what then their model of sdlc and important model why and why they are using that model and which is the like most useful model and you then use then you can already you, you can also say like there are two models which are mostly used like waterfall model and agile model so you can differentiate by providing the advantage and disadvantage advantages okay and even in oops followed by the same as dlc concept then exceptional handling this is my own interview okay exceptional handling then break and continue statements then current technology so i am from machine learning so he asked about my which is the current technology like booming technology so i answered like the blockchain cloud computing machine learning artificial intelligence and many more okay so then he, here my interview technical question are done now some hr question like do you have laptop then ram size ready to relocate and any query so this is a very important question and in if interviewer ask i am done any question from me so in my suggestion always ask question from into into your okay whether you have question or not just try to mug up any kind of question and ask because after asking the question interviewer know ha huh, you are little bit approachable so he can consider you as a this is a most important question in in forces interview round so don't skip this kind of question like what is sdlc then what is sdlc models like phases and what are the models and phases so explain in a very mean and neat and clear okay way so he can understand you know about sdlc then oops so don't skip sdlc and oops in my suggestion these are the very important questions okay then about database then ddl means data definition language data manipulation language data transition language so these are the questions are very important okay don't miss this kind of question like oops the real time example of oops then what programming language you like if you like if you say i like c then he ask about different between c and c++ if you say i like java then he ask difference between java or c++ even he can ask whether java is platform independent or not okay and some coding question like if you are not lucky then he can ask about swapping prime number and fibonacci series even i discussed previous in previous slide too okay so that's all about this video i think if you like this video do like share and subscribe okay so that's all about thank you so much for watching have a nice day bye bye